My name is Michael Aldrich. I have a PhD in marijuana. I've been working in the marijuana movement for about 40 years now. I had an opportunity to speak to uh, Nancy Pelosi's office a couple of weeks ago, uh, which Michelle arranged because she's an old friend of Nancy Pelosi. And Nancy was aware that she'd gotten lung cancer and was using marijuana and wanted to hear about it. So she assigned a staff person to call us in and talk about it. And I told them something that I don't think any politicians have been told about our movement, which is that the federal attacks on marijuana dispensaries on all the states where it's legal um, are not only having a devastating effect on patients in terms of their access to good medicine, as opposed to going out in the street and buying junk, you know, on the street, but it's also the federal attacks are impeding the progress of medicine, the progress of cannabis therapy, which is so astonishing already in the 21st century. I hesitate even to think what it's going like, to look like 20 years from now for the next generation, because what we're doing right now is training a whole generation, new generation of doctors and patients about how to target things for individual patients with individually calibrated medicines for one a medical condition a high THC concentrate might work for another one who can't smoke anything at all maybe say, taking some capsules or all kinds of delicious new edibles are being developed in terms of brownies and cakes and and little Dutch Stroop waffles which are a wonderful way to take cannabis and what we're do doing is developing a new science that hasn't been revived since the late 19th century. And we're topping all that work that Todd Micaria, he, he wrote a whole book about that 19th century cannabis medicine. Todd is dead now, but he would be so proud of the movement that he basically started among doctors, paying attention to that old 19th century cannabis medicine and seeing what we can do with it in the 20th century and mostly what he found out we can do with it is get attacked by the government for doing this incredible advancement in therapy. But it, it's not going to stop us. There is no attack that's going to stop this movement. It's, it's, it's out of the bag. It's out of, it's out of sight, actually. That in the 21st century, we're reinventing medicine. I mean, not just cannabis therapy, but the whole concept of medicine being targeted towards specific individual uh, patients as well as their individual medical conditions. Fascinating. Once we have discovered the way that the endogenous cannabinoids really work, and that's where the, the, the best work is being done right now, all over the world, not just in America, being done without any government support, which means that the dispensaries are the main source of funding for this type of research, or people who have gotten somehow access to good quality cannabis that they can give for research. And this is all going on with NIDA pretending that there are no medical uses at all for marijuana. And the whole federal government, including our beloved President Obama, who's turned away millions of votes that he got last time, and I'm talking about marijuana patients, you know, why throw away millions of votes just to prove that you're tough on drugs or whatever he's trying to do? I don't know what he's trying to do, but it's very misguided. For the federal government to be the main obstacle to the growth of a brilliant new medical therapy is just absurd, and it has to stop.